nigga called him Mr. Potato Head. I said, no, cat. Then he said, uh, what'd he say? Uh, Cedric looked like a walrus, nigga. Said, I'm like, no, nigga, no. Nigga, he got Ricky Smiley so good. Ricky Smiley got on the internet making tea and started crying and disappeared. <laughs> ain't nobody seen him since, nigga. He ain't been no more posts. He just disappeared. I called Cat on the phone. I said, nigga, you better be on the lookout for Smiley. <laughs> that nigga wants to come smiling. Clive wants the one to get you. He's smiling, nigga. And I said he might show up with a dress on. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Cat, the last two that ain't worn a dress, nigga. I called that nigga. nigga I called him and said, nigga, let's do the non wearing the dress tour. That be hot like a mother. Mm. Uh -huh. And Club Shay Shay. Uh -huh. Yeah, Shay Shay. Yeah. Gay gay. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. That nigga gay, nigga. That nigga sitting there with them t ass pants on with his balls and all of them cat's faces. And you remember the cat kept looking the other way. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, um, uh, look, uh, yeah, uh, you can tell how that nigga drank, nigga, he gay, nigga. He kept on saying, now, now, cat. <laughs> That's lips, nigga. That nigga had them lips. Don't no nigga drink like that. Now, now, cat. Nigga called him Mr. Potato Head. Now, while I was backstage waiting on this again, nigga, I was searching the internet. And I seen some and I said, Did he? Did he? Did he? I know he did it. He did it. Take that, take that, take that. Bad boy for life, my. This nigga's on his way to jail, y'all. And Suge Knight in there waiting on him. <laughs> you know, as soon as he get in there, nigga Suge be like, you tired of your celly dancing all up in your cell? Come on over to death row! God damn it, nigga. Yeah, yeah, him and TD Fakes. Oh my, I know that's a fat gay That's a fat gay that's why the back of his neck looked like a pack of hot dogs. <laughs> that greasy mother. God don't like that mother. Oh God. He's a walking sin. Anything in excess is a sin. He's a fat mother. <laughs> walking sin. <laughs> all right, all right. You heard it for yourself, man. We've been actually listening to Eddie Griffin go crazy on Club Shay Shay. Man, he having a bad week this week, man. Like and subscribe to your boy Hood Hood Films. Man, I guess Eddie Griffin's just not going to let up, man. I mean, it, no matter how Shannon Sharp do it, this is going to be the week where he's going to probably remember for a long time. Man, he came out there. He did his thing. He made the biggest platform ever. He brought the New Year in with a lot of beef, a lot of turmoil with Cat Williams. And it seemed like nobody is beefing so much with Cat Williams as they are beefing, beefing with uh, Club Shay Shay. So he got a lot on his hands, man. And I, you know, a lot of people are calling these people haters. Like, yo, they haters, they haters, they haters. But I, I won't even say so much as that. I mean, like when you're on a big platform, when you're a big celebrity, people have opinions. And are they necessarily haters? I would believe that a hater probably was somebody that kind of know you. They just people with opinion. They actually don't matter. And I don't even think he should even be necessarily responding to all these people. I mean, come on, there's millions of people on earth. Everybody call you gay. You're going to come out and just start saying, hell no, what you doing? Man, who cares about what people say? As long as you succeed and are successful, you financially stable, who cares what somebody say, man? I would just be moving on. Would not matter to me what nobody said. I'd be happy that I'm getting rich. I'd be happy that the money coming in. I'd be happy that my name is banging and that people would want to work with me in the future when I want to do something new or different, that my name is out there as established as an interviewer. Like, it's a lot of leverage that these interviewers that's mad at him don't have. And, you know, a lot of times people be mad at you because they couldn't think of it themselves. Imagine Eddie Griffin thinking of being the person to interview all the comedians around the world. 
it's a white dude who did that name uh Mirren, somebody Mirren. And he ended up being real famous and making it and like succeeding real heavy. But he was like doing podcasts early on. I mean, I'm, I mean, this could even be like 2011 or something like that when he was doing it. It could even be before, it could be a little bit after. But I remember one of his interviews was with Chris Rock. And I remember listening to every word because I had never really heard Chris Rock at that time. It, the internet wasn't so heavy where you could see interviews like that. So it wasn't even a visual interview. It was just them talking. So this is like a new level of celebrity, a new level of entertainment where people are making basically all of this level of uh, of, of putting their words out there in a conversation that you would never really hear people have. Podcasting is like the new thing, man. It's, it's taking over the world. And, Shay, and Club Shay Shay, this guy is the biggest celebrity out there. So, And when you get that big, of course people are going to call you gay. Of course people are going to say, you you a homo and all that. What else can they say? They don't know you. They don't, they've never seen you in real life. And I remember one time I saw a video of him walking in a, uh, 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 what was he at? In, a, in an airport. And he had like a little puppy. And some guy was filming him. And the guy was filming him as they walking through. And he got mad at the guy filming him. And was like, really, dude? Really? And the guy was like, yeah, because, you know, sometimes people be just as aggressive, like, what's up? Yeah, I'm going to film you, now what? And he just kept walking in the airport. He had his little puppy, and he was walking extremely zesty. I know people say, you shouldn't say that, but, I mean, if you see this video, it's going to be like, what the hell? And this is just him doing his life. He, he ain't bothering nobody. He walking in the airport, he wasn't with nobody. He minded his business. But, you know, somebody looking at you as a celebrity Everybody got a camera now, so everybody's a paparazzi. So it's just like that now. So Shannon Sharp, Club Shay Shay, you see what it is. You see what time it is now. You out there with it. You're going to have to guide dog it. You know what I'm saying? Man up. And I would not be trying to come and holler at everybody and be mad at everybody that's out there. That's a waste of time. It's too many people in the world for you to be bugging out over every single person that's going to say something. Let it ride. But... At the end of the day, if somebody get in your face, somebody try to get physical with you, then you know what to do. I mean, he, for heaven's sakes, he's a football player, ex-football player, physically fit. Come on, last dude that's going to be gay. Why would he be gay now in Hollywood when he could have been gay in his damn dressing room in the in a football uh, room with all his homies who probably was also gay? But it's just how they do celebrities today. Well, any day. You know what I mean? So it's like that's just what people say about you when you get, especially having a face out there and 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 a name. And then it, and uh, but believe me, if something ever come out against him, man, it's gonna be bad. He said he fired his uh his uh, uh like like makeup artist or style stylist or something like that. But uh, that was a gay person. So the man just basically on top of the world and everybody hating on a guy at the top. That's what it is. Michael Jordan, they always compare him to LeBron James, even though there's literally no comparison. But that's just what it is when you're at the top. So Jay-Z always get called out and whoever else is at the top. So, you know, that's what I got to say about that. I want to see if y'all got something to say in the comments section. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. This your boy Hood. Thank you for watching. Holla at your boy.